Hey, what is going on guys? Zerkstein here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my configuration settings for Fallout 4. Now there's three main configurations that I use. There's 720p60 or around 60 FPS high settings. There are 768p medium to high settings at around 40 FPS. And then there's 900p 30 FPS on low settings. So I wanted to make this video because the DLC announced for Fallout 4 looks really good and I just want to show you guys that this game is in fact playable on all three of those like different configuration settings. So for the uh, first settings this is what I generally play with. Um, the resolution is set to 720p, anti-aliasing is off, uh, the <coughs> anisotropic filtering is on on two samples and if we go into advanced settings you see that the texture quality is on high and everything else is basically on medium with the decal on none and the uh, ambient oculation and weapon debris is off just because they do hog performance a lot and personally I think you can also leave these settings on but I just don't like them just because I think it adds too much like I know flair to the game if you understand what I'm saying So, as you guys can see here, just kind of walking around the wasteland, uh, this is near the Quincy Ruins. Just walking around, you get around 40 FPS. If you kind of look down at the ground, you get it up to 60 FPS. But this is completely playable, and the fact that the texture details are on high does kind of help make it look a bit better. Um, on the inside of buildings, I'll show you guys it pretty much stays at 60 FPS like uh, inside the Institute inside other places it's around 60 FPS uh, even in combat it still stays well playable at 30 FPS sometimes even 40. Uh, in third person the FPS doesn't really change that much either So yeah, this is completely playable and please note that the recording software does drop the FPS by around 5 to 10. Uh, so in most cases you're going to get a bit better FPS than this. So in pretty much every building uh, on the inside you get around 60 FPS. Now I know that in Fallout you don't really spend the most of your time uh, inside of buildings, but when you do, uh, when you are inside buildings, you will get very nice smooth frames. So I'll show you guys just a few more benchmarks of me in uh, other places, I'll do Diamond City next. And, uh, yeah guys, as you can see, it's totally playable on here. So, the next preset that I like to use sometimes is 768p. Now, the only thing that I changed is I set the shadow quality to low, and I turned off God Rays. And I also did uh, forget to put this in the other part, but this is the view distance. I don't change this um, when switching from, like, resolutions and quality settings. Uh, I know that it's not really the best uh, view distance, but as you can see from the gameplay, it's it's still good enough. So we're just going to do some benchmarks in Diamond City and walking around the Commonwealth again on these settings. So inside Diamond City, Holy you get around 30 uh, FPS. That is so now this is expected because Diamond City is uh, really like, you know, dense, so there's a lot of stuff that slows down the FPS, but even then, uh, it's like you get to the outskirts, it goes back up to around 40, 45, and yeah, this uh, is completely playable. Hey, I'm not saying I'm on 768p. 
So the last and uh, least one, which uh, personally I don't like to use this one, but if some of you guys have higher resolution Jeez, screens, wow. you can set like the uh, quality to 900p and basically turn everything down to low with the texture quality on medium and still get around 30 FPS. So uh, I'll show that right now. So for these settings, you basically want to set this to 900p and basically turn everything down to low, uh, basically as low as you can get it to go. Uh, you can turn God Rays off, turn all of this stuff down, make sure all of this is unselected. And here you can uh, play the game and I'll show you the benchmarks uh, once again. So here we are in Sanctuary Hills and at 900p you get around 30 FPS. It does drop down to the 20s uh, quite a bit which is why I really don't like this. And in uh, more graphically intensive areas such as like Diamond City and uh, like when there's basically a lot of fighting going on it drops down to around 25. And for me, I don't know, that's just a bit low. I'd rather have a lower resolution, higher quality, and higher uh, FPS than uh, than having the higher resolution. But, you know, everyone has their own different opinions on this. So, yeah, once again, the benchmarks prove that it's playable. Um, if you guys uh, leave, want to leave any suggestions in the comments, I'll be happy to uh, implement them in the next video I do. And I'm thinking the next video is going to be on Skyrim, but I also have a GTA 5, I have Borderlands 2, and I have a couple other games that I'm willing to benchmark. And uh, yeah, if you guys want any you know, tips, tricks, how to optimize your games, uh, please feel free to subscribe, I'll do games in the future. So uh, yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next video.